Hey guys, uh, just wanted to share you proud with you probably uh, one of the most, um, I don't know, it seems like uh, church was a really good one today, and uh, it had to do with uh, talking about Moses, and it led me on kind of a trail of uh, verses leading back all the way to the uh, first thing that uh, God pronounced about uh, the serpent seed and the woman seed, so uh, it... Um, yeah, it was pretty revealing to me, and uh, the pastor was talking about how uh, the Lord uh, in Deuteronomy um, wouldn't um, allow uh, Moses to enter the um, the land, and uh, he um, when uh, he pleaded to the Lord, uh, it says, uh, "And the Lord said to me, Enough from you. Do not speak." of this matter again and uh it kind of made made me go to uh kind of uh i don't know there had to be some pretty uh behind the scene things going on uh because uh i remembered a, a verse in jude uh that says jude 9 that says yet yeah, michael the archangel when contending with the devil and disputing about the body of moses dare not bring accusation again bring against him a railing accusation but said the lord rebuke thee and um when uh i uh something led me to another verse uh it's uh, it's um from uh matthew 23 2 through 3 and it says the scribes and pharisees sit on moses seat of authority so observe and practice all they tell you but do not do what they do for they preach but do not practice um and uh it's um kind of reminds me of uh when john the baptist and jesus both uh called the pharisees a uh, generation of vipers and uh when you look uh at generation um that means our uh, race it has the same meaning as a uh, race like a race of people so uh i don't think what jesus was name calling when uh he called them that and uh that automatically uh whatever led me to the next uh verse which is in um uh genesis referring to uh um when adam and eve ate of the fruit and uh got uh um told the serpent he shall crush your head and uh you shall bruise his heel or uh something look it up for yourself but i think you guys know what i'm referring to and uh it's kind of like a whole whole line of uh stuff pointing to the serpent seed uh but the question i have is how does uh how do the Pharisees, which were a race of vipers, set in Moses' seat of authority? Kind of some uh, pretty sketchy, questionable stuff there uh, going on. Um, yeah. But, uh, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Uh, it's probably been uh, one of the most uh, revealing days of church I think maybe I've ever had, but... Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Have a good day. God bless and praise Jesus.